Okay, now we're gonna do a general overview of the editor screen. So we'll start in the top left-hand corner. At the top left-hand corner, if I click the three lines, I have my main menu. From here, I can create a new program. If I go to select program, I can do a new program. I can rename a program. I can delete a program. If I go just to the right of that, I have a drop-down menu. And this is where I can choose an existing program. For, uh, moving further to the right, I have my uh, little icon there with a torch with a line through it. So right now my weld is disabled. This is where I can enable my weld by clicking on that. To the right of that, I have my speed override. So right now by default, it goes to 10%. Uh, to the right of that, we have auto. It's showing that the robot is in auto mode. It's always in auto mode. And then the next one to the right is showing that the robot is stopped right now. Basically, the program is not running. And then the very top right-hand corner, I have my icon where I can enable or disable the tablet to edit. So right now it's enabled so I can do editing. If I click that, it's gonna disable the tablet and this is how I'm gonna run my program. Just below that, you see the alarm screen right there. I can reset the alarm from going from disabled to an enabled tablet. And then just below that, I have my 3D image of my robot. If I click the three dots in the upper right hand corner, it brings up a menu and I can choose which view of the robot I wanna see. The next line down, I have the icon enabled to show my points in my program. So you can see the points there and they're all labeled out and they correspond with the timeline points right below it. If I click the icon next to that, I can see uh, which direction each joint moves and which joint is, each joint is labeled. To the right of that, I can choose to see uh, where the position is of my tool center point in space. So right now that's joint. If I click on world, I can see the world coordinates and then user frame coordinates. And then I can also look at my IOs and my registers from there if I click those other icons. Just below that, moving down, I have my timeline. So you can see I have six points in my program right there. This would be where we would edit our program or drag and drop icons into our program timeline. And then below that, I have all my icons for my arc tool menu. So if I go up to all on the left there, I can see all the icons that are available in the Cobot. But we're gonna pare it down to just arc tool. So now I have my icons that are available so I can drag those into my timeline and write my program. And then on the very bottom left, I have my play tab. So when I'm ready to run my program, I'm gonna use this tab. And then to the right of that is my robot operation tab. So when I need to jog my robot, this is where I'm going to make all my jog uh, movements, inch my wire, purge the gas, that type of stuff. And then on the very bottom right hand corner is an icon that will turn on the keys if I'm in the traditional tablet mode, which we have another video on that. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or check out our library of videos. Thanks.